Hello everyone, my name is Estela del Carmen Rolón Clara and this is Professor Miguel Angel Allen Herbert Vargas. Um, I am currently studying the MA in ELT. First of all, thank you very much for watching the video about teachers' strategies and activities to deal with burnout. Okay. Due to the accumulation of negative effects caused by the burnout syndrome in teachers, for the researchers, it is transcendental not only to know the causes and consequences that come from this fatigue in the work area, but also to focus on techniques that help caution the impact of this syndrome. It is necessary to know uh, alternatives that exist uh, to solve job exhaustion and avoid harming the educational performance uh, of teachers. The aforementioned is based on authentic dialogues in the working life of teachers at the university level. The research questions are how does the burnout syndrome affect academic performance and how do teachers deal with burnout? In the literature review, uh, the next points were uh, discussed. The first one is a stress in labor context and the role of teachers' motivation as well as the teacher's self-regulation which uh, it is important to know how we as teachers self-regulate our emotions. Then we have a teacher's burnout and the types of burnout that teachers face. A burnout in teachers during pandemic and the impact of burnout on teachers' performance. Finally, uh, the teacher's strategies uh, to deal with burnout. Okay, uh, this was a case study. It was a semi-structured interview of 13 questions um, applied to five English university professors. Uh, these professors' years of experience range from four to 47 years. Okay, in the data analysis, uh, the first step was uh, the meetings. The, the, to meet with the, with the professors, and then the information, cat, categorized the information, and finally, the interpretation and comparison of the results. Okay, for the findings, we have the following categories. Satisfaction about being a teacher. In this section, the five professors express that they were satisfied. For example, Professor Greta said, I like to notice the socialization of knowledge, make students participate, interact, and realize what they really learned. Professor Eduardo mentioned, I like to share experiences and help those who are studying to value learning and see an, and see an opportunity to improve themselves professionally. Uh, the second category is teacher's self-image. This means how the teachers perceive themselves. Uh, in this section, all the participants ex express that they are responsible, responsible, they are punctual teachers and dedicated. However, one of them said that uh, his students perceive him, with, perceive him with a positive uh, with positive characteristics. Professor Paola mentioned, well, the responsibility that I like to teach and that I am concerned that the students learn. Professor Greta explained, I am very punctual. Sometimes I am strict because I like things to be done well, but I am always very empathetic with my students, very flexible. The next category is teachers' challenges in their profession. Uh, 
The answers that I found here were varied. Professor Gaspar mentioned not knowing what the reaction of the students will be. It's a challenge because one as a teacher, as a teacher prepares the class and one wants as one wants to prepare it, but it is not known if the students will react positively or negatively. It's a challenge to plan things that are different from what you are used to do and think about how to help them. Professor Greta mentioned the resources that we have in the institution in matters of electrical items such as computers or recorders that are already obsolete. They aren't enough projectors, there aren't enough adapters, and we mostly have to bring our own. The next category is teacher's motivation. Here, only one professor uh, said that uh, it was very, um, he was very motivated just for the fact, just for the simple fact to have uh, a job. Professor Gaspar mentioned, a very important motivation is the simple fact that they give me the opportunity to teach, that they give me a job since I haven't always been lucky enough to find a job. Demonstrate that I am capable of giving the classes. The rest of the teachers were motivated that by their students' language development. Uh, Professor Greta mentioned the evolution of my students from when they are beginners to sing, to sing, um, uh, to sing them at the advanced level. One as a teacher is the pinnacle because we can notice the ultimate achievement of our students. And Professor Paola mentioned it motivate, motivates me that the students learn, but also one as a teacher learns a lot. One knows oneself more professionally. The next category, category is teachers' difficult situations in their jobs. Here, all the participants start, uh, stated that the administrative issues uh, can be difficult to deal with. Uh, Professor Greta mentioned all the time, I, I, I feel pressured because it is about education, not only inside the classroom, but also being a teacher outside the classroom. Everything that must be prepared, text that we must be searched, analyze to see if it can be used in addition to the tasks that one as a teacher must do in the institution, such as tutorials, research management, uh, courses, and so on. Professor Eduardo mentioned the constant requirements of the authorities, for example, during the pandemic, during the pandemic, sorry, reports had to be complied, complied with with and they are pure administrative requirements. In reality, that makes academic work annoying for the fulfillment of the profession. The next category is uh, attitude changes regarding their profession. Here, the participants' uh, attitude towards teaching is uh, still intact, except for the administrative work that they are asked to do. For example, Professor Eduardo mentioned, no, my attitude hasn't changed, but I have been able to see the contrast between basic education and university education. And Professor Edgar mentioned, no, my attitude towards teaching hasn't changed. I keep coming with a good attitude, willing to teach with pleasure. The, the only thing I don't like is the way management uh, is handled. The next category is teachers' experiences with labor burnout. Here, the participants stated that they have experienced burnout, but not because of the uh, teaching task, but because of the extra activities that they have to do around teaching. Um, for example, uh, Professor Greta mentioned, I have felt very exhausted because everything must be fulfilled within the institution and outside of it and outside of it with task of the institution as well as other personal situations many times this fatigue causes the classes to be mechanical that is because of the experience is simply met with the class 
but without paying attention to certain details or activities that are sometimes prepared, prepared calmly and with time. Professor Paola mentioned, there was a time when the authorities were very, very taxing. There were situation of corruption, lies, and all that made the atmosphere very, very terrible. I remember that I came to tears. The next category is teachers' experiences, uh, no, sorry, teachers' personal strategies to deal with burnout. Here, all the participants stated that they have personal activities outside work, and these activities play an important role in their daily lives. Professor Edgar mentioned, I just start reading, editing books, or listening to music. Sometimes I like to play my guitar and doing all that this stress me, it makes me feel better. Professor Greta mentioned, I walked a lot, five kilometers a day. I play a lot with my son and my dog. I like to talk a lot with my husband and I have meetings with my friends. And finally, Professor Eduardo mentioned, during the pandemic, there were times that we had to be in synchronous meetings and sometimes I had three at the same time. That stressed me a lot. And what I did was relax, breathe, and a better silence everything and try to watch another activity such as cartoons, comedy, series, or videos of jokes. The next category is influence of working, a, of working context in their teaching performance. Uh, here, the five participants stated that the influence of context is usually positive for, for personalization. Professor Gaspar mentioned, I don't think it has so much influence. I think that in the end, there is only the teacher and the students in the classroom, and that is the most important thing. For me, it doesn't have much influence if I get along with the other fellow teachers. Professor Greta said, uh, of course, the work environment influences the performance of the work. Having example figures has made me want to imitate them and want to aspire more, for more. It influences me in a positive way, wanting to have or imitate attitudes or approaches that my classmates have with the students or the facilities to use tools to teach. Professor Paola said, well, I try not to, but I suppose that there are times when one is exhausted from so much that it affects. But I always try not to be like that, and that all work and even personal problems are not carried out with the students. And finally, the conclusions. Okay, uh, the burnout syndrome, um, is continually present in the teaching field. It is evident that it can affect the, the teacher who suffers from it uh, in many ways uh, at different uh, levels. According to the information collected from the interviews, the teachers try to ensure that burnout doesn't harm their job performance. <clears throat> However, it has been uh, stated that the way in which the institution is administered causes a negative effect on them. Despite this, teachers uh, have stated that when they notice um, a tiredness or symptoms of stress, they automatically uh, resort to certain activities that is strategically uh, help to minimize the, the effects of burnout. Uh, it is of vital importance to um, take certain, certain measures to prevent burnout as soon as possible so as not to affect the quality of teaching. Okay, the limitations of the study, uh, it was very difficult to obtain their personal, personal points of view regarding the activities that they do as they focus more on the academic or professional side of things. And for further research, uh, um, something 
uh, very important could be uh, what is the perspective of the institutions and what they can do to, to prevent, to avoid uh, teachers burnout. And that's it. Thank you very much. Okay, and I forgot to mention the these are my references. 